Hi, it's good to see you again. Great to start the weekend with Detroit. Whoa, she talks. And how the hell did she know it was weekend? Wow, that's creepy. I was just about to say, welcome to this playthrough of Detroit Become Human. And I got cut off by this Scarlett Johansson look-alike. It's got to be modeled after her, right? It has to be. Scarlet, is that you? Okay, it's definitely her. Let's start. Yeah, I had to check the sounds so I don't make the same mistake and have the music and voices way too loud. Android. Whoa, what a coin game he has. Oh, hello. Negotiator on site. He's so much my type. <laughs> okay, focus. Yeah, regular walking. Of course it is. What is this? What's happened here? Somebody break things? Oh? I, I, I can't leave her. A fish? Dwarf Gurami. Uh, save, obviously. I saved you, little fishy. I hope you grow up to be strong. Software instability. Oh, I can check. Where is it? Where is my fish? Is that it? Ooh. Oh, how beautiful. What? Somebody shot at it? Oh, what is this? Family portrait. Phillips. John, Phillips, Caroline, Phillips, Emma. Okay. Are we at their house? There's something that's happened here. And guns were definitely involved. Please, please, you gotta save my little girl. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Find Captain Allen. All right. Click to consult your objectives. Okay. Find Captain Allen. Oh, there's some yellow spots. What's in here? I can't go in there. So many SWAT agents. Maybe I should go in here first and do my own investigation. Talk to Ken. Okay. Okay then. I will go to him. But I want to do my own investigation. Mm. Then we... Oh, of course. I should have just followed the yellow line. Or the yellow objective. Which was him, I guess. Find Captain Allen. I'm gonna use this right click a lot. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing and everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could oh easily God, get it, so but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Um. Oh shit, I got time on me. Uh, what to pick, what to pick? Um. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Hmm. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. 
probability of success 48 percent oh well that's not good understand what happened save hostage at all costs well i'm gonna really try oh analyze Oh, left hand right okay ammunition the construct use the following keys to review review okay and it was picked up or taken down deviant took the father's gun what's a deviant So it's completed. It's easy enough. Probability of success for 51. Okay, let's do this. Search hostages room. Okay. Deviant's name Daniel. Hold on. Did he like go berserk or something since he's the deviant? What's this? Listen. I've unlocked the dialogue or action. Often beneficial. Oh! Child didn't hear gunshots. Yeah, I think I'm doing pretty well. Understand what happened. Okay, I'm trying to find stuff. Hmm. Can I go in here now? Look at. Nothing? Hmm. I don't want to miss anything. Why there are so many? Oh, it's a body here. Is this the father? <gasps> yes, it is. Oh no. Bullet wound, left kidney perforated, fatal abdominal trauma. Abdominal. Upper lung hemorrhage. Pneumala. I don't know. Lower lung hemorrhage, internal. Bleeding. Okay, let's reconstruct this. What happened? Oh, he got shot in the back. Father was holding something. Okay, so I go back. Since there's a yellow line. Oh, oh, oh you got shot. Damn. What's this? What is it? Are we done? Yeah, I think we're done. Tablet? Devon was going to be replaced. Oh! Oh, that's why he mad. But it looked like the child really liked this thing. Oh. Don't mind me, I'm just here for the bodies. DPD officer was first response. Respondent. 
Deceased, okay. Hmm, I'm not even gonna try to read that. Only one shot. Gun residue. So he had a gun in his hand. We construct. Oh, there. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Upshot the deviant. Okay, now we got another space. Why is he still yellow? Ready to assault. What are we waiting for? We should Two? take down. Hosted could be wounded. Oh my god, my English. What's this blue Kool-Aid? Ew, why are you doing that? That's gross. Fresh blue blood. Oh, it's android blood. Deviant model PL600. I don't know why we could use that. Oh, we're at 73. Look at. Okay, we could only look at it. Oh, it's cooking over. What are you doing? Did we eat something? Oh, we can just turn it off. Family was about to have dinner. Why is he still yellow? Did I forget something? I unlocked two of those yellow thingies. Yellow bars. It's been just over an hour since a little girl was taken hostage on the top floor of a building. Well, this not looking good for our android guys. What are you looking at? Don't stand there. What? I'm doing my job. I'm gonna check him out again. Have I missed something? Oh. <laughs> There's a gun. How could I miss that? <laughs> I'm so fast. Jeez, should I really be taking this? I mean, I'm not gonna... Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Well, shit, this is not gonna look good for our protagonist here. I don't think that's a good idea to bring it along then. What was that stitch? Nothing. I couldn't do anything anyway. Any yellow objectives? Anyone a SWAT agent I can talk to? What's out here? Is he out there? Oh! Stay back! Wait. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please. I'm I shouldn't have gone out. Go, go, go. Damn. What was my pro probability rate? Hi, Daniel. Now, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh my god. 58. Gain Deviant's trust, approach slowly. <laughs> I am. Oh my gosh. What are we gonna pick? Reassure, maybe? I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk? 
I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. It's too late. The unlocked ones. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Oh my gosh. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with it. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. What should I pick? Sympathetic or realistic? Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No, it's not my fault. I never wanted this. Mm. I love them, you know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. We need to save both. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. The situation is under control. There. I did what you wanted. Oh my god, 97. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Oh, 99%. Oh, we're gonna make I want it. everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. No, you can't take her with you. You can't. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, oh, and I I'm promise so you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. You're not going to. Reassure. You're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. okay. We're doing this. I trust you. <laughs> just let her go. And you will also be saved. I... What did I do wrong? And why did our protagonist okay that? We reassured him. You lied to me, Connor. <gasps> you lied to me. No. That was so cold. <gasps> and she's successful and he just walks away like nothing happened. Connor, what the hell? Are we playing a bad guy? What is this? This is the scene's flowchart. Here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths yet to be explored, and what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extras. Due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted toward the completion of the flowchart. Aha! I know exactly what this is. Yeah. Uh, I have uh, my computer on flight mode, so I do not have internet on. So I can't see what others picked. Because I know that my friend tipped me to not view what others did. Or else I'll just replay. <laughs> what now? This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. We in a store? And, diners, and handles the kids' home care. Elementary school. Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. 
How much did you say it cost? This is an Android the moment, store. A special promotion on this entire this range. Does not feel right at all. With a 48 months interest free credit. I know they're, it does they're supposed to be robots with no house. feelings and Painting, such. Plumbing, but, gardening, but we saw repairs, that that Daniel night, it switches it, to something happened to him. Or else he wouldn't show those kind of focus. emotions. How much is that one over there? Right? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has Or am I wrong? Functions. I don't know. <gasps> I'm confused. Android zone. Pre-owned spare part repair. What there it is. what do you want? It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. Oh. It was really I'm one of them. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, oh, see. Anyway, it's as good as new now. Except well, that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. That'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. Oh, she looks just like my friend. Wow, it's so cinematic. Wow. What if our future looks like this? How freaking cool would that be? So, he said a car hit Kara. And he went to the store to bring her back. I don't know. I don't trust that guy. He, he was too quick to say a car hit it. And it. I like this kind of games where when it's like a movie and I can do the choices but then I'm more emotionally invested and that could be a bad thing because I'm gonna cry I'm gonna be very emotional about this yeah it started very strong I really thought I I would manage Saving Daniel and the girl. I saved the girl, but it looked like Connor didn't give a shit. He was like, mission success. Hmm? Who's this? Hello. These androids are freaking pretty. They're so handsome. Go to Bellini Paint. Let me help you. Oh. oh, thank you, dear. That's nice. Taking care of the old. Huh. Read. Tech Addict. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlove designed its androids to coexist with humans. VR, MMORPG. Read. Okay. Android soldiers. Perfect killing machines. Ooh. Green Earth. Climate change up. Uh, how the environment is changing America's society. Miami to hide and see wall by further 10 meters. <gasps> Does not sound good. Let's read this. Uh, okay, designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at Cyberlife, unveiled some of is the science secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing ab about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize the, its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. Huh. 
They created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simulation of humanity down to the details that androids simply don't need in the secret of Cyberlife's design success. Okay. So they added breathing and blinking. Of course. I mean, of course. It would be totally, totally spooky not to have that. I mean, make them more like humans, I guess. They're, they're not gonna be so intimidating if they can blink and breathe. Gardening. What's this? He ran. Hey. Oh, I got water. a cue here. You have run twelve miles and are five miles away from your goal. It's an Android smartwatch. <laughs> that seems so weird, though. Very unnecessary. I mean, just grab a watch for that. Wait for green light. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Let's not cross and get killed. Whoa. This is so cool. Are those loading stations? Do you see those androids? Oh, it's green. It's green. Okay, yeah. I know right click. I'm gonna do this a lot. Yes, I don't wanna miss anything. Oh, it's this singing guy. Guitarist. Human music. One dollar to hear music with soul. Mm, that sounds mean. Anything more yellow? Cyber life. James and Carter. Did I just hear androids are evil? Delini paints. Oh. Am I an artist? <gasps> I might be an artist. Identification verified. Here is your order number eight four seven. That will be sixty three ninety nine. Thank you. Please confirm payment. Pay. Payment confirmed. What? Transaction complete. I just wired the money. <laughs> oh my god, that would be so cool. Okay, take bus home. Oh, <laughs> here was the exit. I don't know what I was doing there. Use the following key to switch camera. Okay. I always press keys without reading the complete sentence. Always. I'm, I'm always like that. My hands are quicker than my brain. So where's the bus? Get yours today. Temporary parking. 
androids seem like objects here. There's a demonstration. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. I don't like him. I want to beat him, but I don't want to. What? The, what Look are you doing? This little motherfucker! You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. What the fuck? Why is he freaking mean? Bastard! Idiot. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. What did I even do? I just walked by. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. We can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. Let's go. Run along. Hmm, they're so freaking mean. Androids are stealing our jobs. Yeah! Uh, we got families to feed, and these androids are taking our place. Yeah! Androids... Fucking racist. That's what they are. Wait for bus. I'm starting to feel really bad about for the androids. And there's a designated spot for, for the androids. Dude, this sounds just like in slavery times. I can just feel I'm gonna cry a lot in this game. Uh, and I do not have waterproof mascara. <laughs> okay, so there were two paths. But we took the bus home. I don't know if we could have done something else. This place looks like a very shabby place, run down everywhere. Okay, let's go out. Hmm, someone watching us. Oh, it's his daughter that he talked about. Coming? Hold on a second, I wanna check a better place to live. Going top, okay then. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! You call your daughter a brat? Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. We know how to do this. I misclicked. Hey, little girl. Mm -hmm. She's so cute. Yeah. 
Maybe. We're gonna put this. What is Depends this? Depends on what you need. Yeah. Dishwasher not working. Missing component. Order processing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can get that. That's so freaking cool. Yeah, yeah. So cool. I'll bring it to What if we could do that? Yeah, same place. You know, you know where. I'm washing the dishes by hand. Right. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, giraffe. Has to be Alice's. Or is it Todd's? <laughs> TV on. I've been watched. Hi, Alice. Oh. Hi. Let's continue washing. Because we don't have a dishwasher. This is kind of therapeutic, though. though. I kind of like washing dishes. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. I was cleaning exactly like you told me to, and now you want a beer. Well, don't blame me. Since I got uh, cut off in my work. Oh, he's watching hockey. Is it Lulio hockey? <laughs> Don't even ask me how it went for Lulio in the hockey season. I don't want to talk about it, okay? <laughs> Alice! You better stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. Oh, I have to take out the trash first. He's so mean to her. He's mean to us and he's mean to his daughter. Collect trash, okay. But we had to empty it. I was too quick assuming. Collect. Where is she hiding? I don't think she likes him. Yeah, take out the trash. Yeah, we did see a trash can out here when we went in. Oh, this doesn't look good. Pass due. Okay. Throw it out. I guess that hasn't... Hasn't become any more futuristic. Throwing out the trash, I mean. Fuck, man. Huh? Alice? Where are you hiding? Yeah, why are you hiding? What's he gonna do? Read. Android power. Should it be outlawed? Football frenzy. The latest transfer speculations. In his third game of the season, Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the something mark. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one per team in innovation, but they've come to dominate the team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer record to purchase these latest Android models, but is the game suffering? Well, I think they're better than humans, probably. Jenny Waterfield, head of fanzines, fa fanzine, 
home run says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. But not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up and pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. Well, I wouldn't mind, but then again, I'm not so much into sports either. Century, the transport invention that's shaking up California, connecting the dots. Politics, in focus are American senators really corrupt. Okay, China earthquake kills 10,000 people. Connecting the dots, the transport innovation that's shaking up California. The new subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours, less than half the five hour flight time, the top speed of uh, 1,800 miles per second or hour <laughs> was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber, providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. For commuters, this raises the tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and putting your feet up on the Golden Coast. Hmm. That doesn't sound so bad. Are they better than the Japanese trains? I think it was called like Shinkansen. Who's doing good? What are you looking at? Hockey, can't you see? Duh. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. What a fucking asshole! <laughs> Dude, you are an asshat. Check the backyard. Guess it's over here. I love these robot cleaners. Vacuum cleaners, I mean. What's he moaning about? Do you hear his moans? It's a growth. He's like... <gasps> Can we take it down? No? Maybe not? Can we go in there? Not there either. Well, we're not really gonna make a run for it. Since we got the daughter here also. I'm kinda afraid for her, for her life, actually. The father seems like a white wife beater. Hey! You follow me out here? Rewash laundry. Where's the. Is it that washing machine? Outside? Really? Or is it from. Talk with her first. Mm. Oh, we got time now. You like playing out here? You look bored. Would you like to play a game? Oh my god, he's moaning. Jeez, how loud is he? Where is that washing machine? Washing clothes is so freaking boring. It takes such a long time. Because you can't just put it all in and have one kind of degree. Hmm? What? Take? What is it? What is that? 
Red eyes. The fuck? That has to be some kind of drug. <gasps> you shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. The you fuck? stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. Don't like you. What did her lead thingy become red? Now it's turning blue again. Maybe it's when they're worried, when they're stressed out, or so he's a drug user. Mm. This is not gonna go well. I need to take that girl outside. We need to freaking run away from him. Let's check up with her. She seems kind of depressed. Poor child. What are you moaning about? What's that red... Oh, what the freak is doing drugs that was that moaning i've made a good start down here i'll head upstairs do what you have to do but stop bothering me <laughs> okay this is not good i can just feel that something's bad gonna happen Oh, now you switched place. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? I guess you don't want to talk with me. That's okay. Where can't I go up? Okay, now. Oh my god, the graphics are so freaking good. I do remember I watched this trailer. Like, was it 2015 or something? Some 14? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> what a cute style. So it's kind of an old game, but to have this kind of graphics... That's really good. Is that a Grinch? Hmm, I dropped something. Sorry. Huh? What is it? What is it? Oh, this. What? 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 And she hid it. It looked like she knew what it was, but maybe we'll get to know later. Let's just continue tidying this green room up. Oh my god, the graphics are freaking amazing. How can this be an old game? And they prob it probably took them like five years. Or even longer. Cyberlife unveils Android quarterback. Slam dunk basketball star Gary Gibbons interview. There are a lot of androids in these sports. American football has largely resisted the spread of androids per layers. With top tire games still an exclusive human affair. But that may be about to change. Following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo QB1000, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide. The model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adopted in real time. Okay. So he has like 1,500 plays that he can like just 
recall. QB1000 was re revealed at a recent uh, CyberLife e exhibition in Detroit, where the Android manufacturer showed a ver variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. CyberLife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider the simple, this simply a matter of time, with basketball and baseball already contemplating Android players, a lead sporting QB might be just around the corner. Okay, they uh, even have like anti-android groups. Hmm. The price of life, how driverless vehicles make life and death decisions. Space tourism, is Mars your next holiday destination? Ugh, I'm reading so freaking fast I can't even breathe. Oh, there you go. Oh, a guitar, or is it like a bass? Feel some kind of guitar. What's this? Antidepressant. Ah, a gun. Unlocked? You've unlocked the dialogue? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. We're gonna have to use it. Watch it. Are we gonna have to use it? I really don't want to use it. Because they already don't like androids in this city. Or in this country or in this world. I don't know. Just... Doesn't seem like anyone really likes androids. So, uh, killing a human might not look good at all. Might just make the ones that actually like androids or are neutral to have a negative option of them. Opinion, I mean. You'll have to excuse my English, it's not very good. Very not good when I'm reading. And I read too fast. Hello Alice. You don't have it to just run away from your room a little. I only need two minutes, is that okay Alice? <laughs> What is this? Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Is that where she got her name? Of course. Oh, she stepped over it. Did you see that? That's such a detail though, that she stepped over it. In most games, you just step around things or step over them. Unlock. <gasps> Something's gonna happen and we're gonna have to get out of that. This. I need a key. Alice, you got this key? Let's talk with her. I'm already kind of nervous about the gun and the window being unlocked. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe Trusted. we can be friends again. Hmm, what pick Your name? father said you chose my name. Kara? It's nice. 
How did you choose it? Hmm. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. That would really help me. Mother? What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Oh, she didn't like that. I'm sorry. Trusted path unlock. Hmm? What did she give us? A key. Oh, it's for the box. Why? Why did she give us this key? What's in here? Oh. Or clover. Oh. The family photo. The kid doesn't really look like... Maybe they have another daughter. And the other daughter is with the mother. I don't know. What? There's blood on the side of her head. Is this Alice? That's freaking dark. And she's sad on the drawing. Oh, he definitely did something. <gasps> That's Kara! He's hitting Kara. So there was no freaking Kara accident. Oh my gosh. He was the one who destroyed Kara. And then went to get her again. And Alice is crying. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking dark. Oh, I can just feel my my heart. It's heavy. I need to relax. Oh. Books. Mm, I guess we're done upstairs. Let's go down and get some new instructions from this psychopath, drug addict. What are you doing? I I'm playing. You're playing. Oh no. I know what you're thinking. Oh no. You think your dad's a low life, huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! Oh no. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Oh no. Say it! You hate me! Put her down. God. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's crying. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Oh my god, we need to do something. Shit, I was about to cry. <laughs> you see my eyes. Finish cleaning. Oh. Wow, that's, that was freaking heavy. That was heavy. I'm just breathing, breathing out. I can just feeling me tense up. Oh, he's hella cute. <laughs> The 
deposit package. Wow. Ooh, that's creepy. Why would you have these fish kids, fish kid legged? Oh, no. I don't want to even look at it. Oh, can we look ourselves in the mirror? Look at you. Aren't you a handsome guy? Bellini. Bellini paints. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl up. Carl upstairs. Oh, what is this? Birds? Turn on. Oh, they're android birds. Oh, they also have that lead thingy. They moved kind of naturally. Wow, this place is so nice. Wow. Hmm. Isn't that like for... I was gonna say stroller, but I don't know what's the word for it now. It's not a stroller. It's for when you are handicapped or can't walk. When your legs don't work. I don't know the word. There it is. Huh? It's so dark. I barely saw him. Sorry. Uh, oh, he got tattoos. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's, it's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, cool. 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Hmm. Administer Carl's medicine. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> I don't want to. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I, I hate just needles. Opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. Indeed. All this effort to keep him going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. I like they Carl. Think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. What a sweet man. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Wow. He's definitely got a heart of gold. Let's pick you up. Do we hold this in? Yeah, I don't want to drop him. Oh, Q again. What a sweet man. So freaking caring. He's just treating him like a regular human. Almost like a son. The relationship seems very, very good. Anything missed? No? Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? In here. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. 
Hmm. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Any I'm sorry. Leo? I'm sorry. No, Carl. Who's Leo? I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. Is it his brother or son, maybe? I'll wait for you downstairs. No, you were faster than me. <laughs> What a lovely man. We need to protect him at all cost. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I don't know. I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. It's a wheelchair. That was the word I was searching for. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I don't know what got into me. <laughs> sorry. Serve breakfast. Let's see if it's in this room, maybe. Jackpot. Ah, such a cute mug. What a lovely set. Ta-da! Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Hmm. Something to do. U.S. Russia tension escalate. Should we read a book, maybe? Shakespeare? What are you reading? Uh, Macbeth. It's one of the books you recommended. So, what do you think? Human emotions are intriguing. Though, I can't really say that I fully understand them. Humans don't understand them either. They rule our lives, and we have no idea why they make us feel like beggars or kings. Life without emotions wouldn't be worth living. Oh. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. Make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Oh my god. My Let's eyes. go to the studio. Oh my god, I'm already getting so emotionally invested in this game. And these characters. <laughs> they seem so real. Yeah, Carl is already so old. I don't want him to die. What is this? No, this is so cool. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Oh, oh. I'm gonna remove the sheet. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry, Carl. I got a bit distracted. Such a cool mechanism. 
Oh, he's the painter, all right. What can I do? Careful strokes. He's so calm. Hmm. Statues. What's this? Clean up. Let's be nice and clean. Anything else to clean? There's something yellow. there oh you're already finished but i didn't clean up everything i saw another objective so what's your verdict marcus i like it like yes there is something about it hmm Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. <laughs> Give it a try. <sighs> Let's paint. What are we gonna paint? Do I pick something? Find a subject to paint. Huh, again, I guess that... That you? I guess this is gonna be perfect, like a photocopy, because he's an android. Perfect isn't interesting though. Perfect is boring. That is a perfect copy. Oh, exactly like that. Reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. So we're gonna paint something from memory, maybe? Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close oh, your eyes. this is what we're gonna do. Trust me. I'm gonna close my eye. One of them, at least. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Hmm. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. I need to see this, Carl. I need to see this. Identity, maybe? Or androids? Identity and... Oh, what we're gonna pray? Doubts, maybe? Androids. Let's pick it. This is so freaking interesting. Wow. Oh 
oh looks like God. Marcus, though. Doesn't it? Who are you? Hey, Dad. Leo. Oh, he's Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, Seems like a drug addict. It, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't just hey, go. Hey, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, no. don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's he got that I don't? It's smarter, more heart of obedient, gold. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. It's Leo, a fucking better enough. son. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. I have a hard never. time believing that. Really hard time believing that. He seems like a great father. Oh my god, don't stress up. Calm down. Oh my god, I'm so worried that he'd get a stroke or something. Fuck you, Leo. Don't ever come by again. Drop that shitty drugs. Then you can come by. <sighs> I do not like that son. He's trouble. 